All right, here's another one. Uh, this time we have a function inside of a function. It's not two functions multiplying or two functions dividing. We have a function inside of a function. So that means u sub. So we're going to u sub this dog. We're going to make u equal to x plus 1. How did you know that? Well, part of it is practice, and the other part of it is um, uh, sometimes guessing. You just guess, and you see if it works. So I get du dx when i take the derivative with respect to x on the left side on the other side i get a two the derivative of two x is two the derivative of one is zero so that's what i got and so that means du equals two dx all right so um i'm looking up here and uh if i start subbing stuff in this guy right here goes away and he's a u and then i see this dx but i don't see a two dx so what can i do to get rid of that two yeah, let's do the one-half thing. We'll multiply both sides by one-half, and that means I have one-half du equals dx. All right, guys, you sub in the stuff and see if you can anti-derive this. Go ahead, go, do it right now. All right, no more waiting. Uh, this is what we got. I'm taking, uh, I'm taking that dx out right now, and that dx is going to be one-half du, so this is what I got. I got the integral of u to the one-half power. That's right. I'm not going to do that square root anymore, and then I have times one-half du, and that one-half can, because he's a scalar, go out in front. He's just a multiplying scalar, so get out of here, scalar. So I have u to the one-half power du. If I was doing the antiderivative, I would add one to the one half and then divide by my results. Uh, so the one is going to be two over two, which gives me a three over two. And then uh, these guys would go away, all right? So let's just rewrite it so it's all clean and stuff, okay? Okay, so we have u raised to the three over two because I added two over two to one half. Then I'm dividing that by three over two and then I have a plus c. Don't forget about that one half multiplying to the whole thing at the beginning, okay? now. Uh, before I, I try to get rid of this fraction inside the fraction, I'm going to simplify with this one half because I see a quick shortcut. If I multiply one half times this, that means this two would be multiplying to this fraction. What would two times three over two equal? Three. Just three. So it gets rid of that fraction, which is kind of beautiful and nice. So I have u raised to the three over two divided by three plus c. One half times c is just another c. Uh, so I should actually do sub numbers so that you know that they're different. But you don't really need those for your final answer. Uh, where, where do you get c squared? C, no, it's not c squared. It's c sub 2. How do you get that? Yeah. Well, this is just a constant, right? It's a number without an x. And uh, if I multiply by 1 half, that's just going to give me a new number without an x. I don't know what it is, though, so I just write c sub 2. If I wanted to, I could say... Uh, I could say one half uh, times c, which is what this is, a c right here times one half. But why, why do that when I could just write another c? It's like trying to be lazy over here. All right, so it's just a c sub 2. But it's different than this c. That's why I put the 1 and the 2. All right, so my, my answer is almost done. I have to take out the u first. I got to take u out. Ha. So I have 2x plus 1 raised to the 3 over 2. Divided by 3 plus C sub 2. Or you just write C. It doesn't need to have the sub 2.